Hello, today we're going to cover permissions in Linux. Now, in Linux there are two modes, user, your average mode, normally indicated by a dollar sign, and root, an elevated mode, normally indicated by a hash mark. Now, you can switch between the two modes with sudo and su. sudo means switch user and do, su means switch user. Now, the times you would do this is like when you're installing something, or if you need to do any elevated permission command. Now, if you need to do a lot of commands in a row, it suggests to just do su and switch into your elevated account. Now, the password that it asks for is actually the password of the account that you're logging into. And if you're using sudo, you put down your password instead. In this case, default su account root. So in Ubuntu, it's sudo su, because in Ubuntu, the root account has no password. But in just about every other distro of Linux, the root account does have a password that you're supposed to change yourself. Now, the reason it does this is because, let's say you download a file, it's so that it can't execute itself as root and just go ahead and delete everything from your computer, for example. It requires you to take an active approach at executing your files, giving them permission to use the elevated permissions of the computer. Now, it's a bad idea to always be root because of that, since you don't know if a file you're running is going to modify the computer in some damaging way, or something of the sort. Now, Ubuntu is really the only one who uses sudo to a great extent, although anyone is able to use it. Most just use su, and not sudo. That's about it on permissions, really, at least with sudo and su.